Yo, come on, come all, nothing but love, nothing but respect, you know what we do, what we don't, what we is, what we isn't, and what we is is here today, bringing you guys and girls some food ors, Shoku Geki no Sanji Chapter 4, that's right, we're getting the fourth chapter of the Sanji spin-off series for One Piece, um, about him and his cooking misadventures, so... Without further ado, let's get into it, but before that, you know what to do, you know what to appreciate, you know what I'm talking about, alright? Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for more notifications for content like that, give the video a thumbs up, and if you're really a fan of uh, One Piece and Sanji, you'll definitely give the uh, old subscribe button a click, otherwise you're just not a fan of Sanji's food, and that's just proof. So, you get baited into it, so do it. Alright, without further ado... If you haven't read the chapter already, the link to the chapter is well, the link to the chapter is in the Discord, but you can also just go onto the Viz Media website. The chapter's free at the moment to read, alright? Support the official release. It is the best thing you can do. And you know, it directly helps Oda. So that's a good thing to do. Alright, let's get straight into it though. Ooh, okay. I haven't seen anything about this, but it looks like we're jumping. The first uh First volume was before that Sanji met up with the Straw Hat. Second volume was in between uh, Logtown and ooh, in, in between East Blue and uh, uh, Reverse Mountain. The third chapter was at the end of Alabaster, but it looks like now, if we're not in the time skip, where when Sanji was yeeted away by uh, Kuma. So we're on the uh, Mamoiro Island, Kamabaka Queendom! All right, here we go. Translation by Andrian Beck, lettering by Sarah Lindsay. So shout out to the two well, shout out to the translator and the uh, artist that you know touches up all the uh, lettering for us poor lonely English speaking folk. Alrighty, so okay, it looks like this is where they're trying to set up Sanji to uh, dress up in drag. Oh, oh dear, did we wake you, sweetie? No matter, hold still while we put this on you. Yeah, and Sanji's freaking. My, my. Having a hard time, darling. You bet I am. Jeez, those newcomers. They're on the prowl both day and night. I have to find a nook to hide in if I want to sleep any. Wait, Eva? Don't worry, darling. I'm completely neutral on the matter. I just like to watch. Yo, that makes it so much creepier of a Holy shit. Yo. I know this is played up for gags, but like, you've got Sanji who's arguably... I wouldn't necessarily say he's transphobic, as I would. He's not comfortable being forced into that with his own body. Necessarily, I don't know. It's a bit hard. I, I've got to reread the series. But yo, Ivankov just sitting there, just saying like, I like to watch <laughs> while wearing a bloody one piece and leggings and that. That is nightmare fuel for sure. Oh, he's living up to the Rocky Horror Show. Watch and enjoy as you fight to earn the right to the ninety nine vital recipes of uh, of attack cuisine. Okay, so this is in the time skip. Not so loud. Imperio Ivankov, Queen, eternally off duty, Kamabaka Queendom. Vital recipes are secret techniques of the new Kama Kempo style. These rep recipes strengthen the physique of all who eat them. Right now, they lie in the hands of the 99 masters. If you want them, you must take them by force. Though, if you just put on his sweet dress and let your inner maiden out, I'd teach them to you right away. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not here to join up with you ladies. No, okay, so Sanji does refer to them as ladies. Interesting. Interesting. I live to love ladies with all my heart. The challenge is to steal the recipes through battle. So that's what I'm going to do. This fight should also make me stronger. I want to clash with your top masters as soon as possible. Oh, ho, ho, ho. careful what you wish for, darling. Take Caroline, for, who served as queen while I was away in Impel Down. The sweetheart is one of the five best fighters in our queendom's history. And the other masters are each as strong as a battalion. It won't be as easy to win as you think. Huh? Where are you going, darling? The kitchen. Need breakfast. 
it's obvious this is going to be a war of nutrition. A oh, war of attrition. I have to keep a full tank even on the run. Oh, hey, what's so funny? My candy sweet ladies put incredible effort into their strength and looks. Do you think even for a moment they'd forget the importance of proper nutrition? The kitchen. The pantry. Both locations were promptly put under strict guard. <laughs> they know you'd come here eventually, darling. Yo, and Sarge is like, ah, oh, shit. Yo, I, I love how they're doing the uh, star eyes here up the top left of page nine, which is sort of like reminding me of the um, monsters at the end of Thriller Bark. Uh, Sanji, honey, there you are. Yo, and all the... Yo, these, these ladies are... Ch they're chasing him down relentlessly. Huh? I'll be safe in the forest for now. And Sanji touches a spider with love hearts. Yeah, spider! Sanji does not deal well with creepy crawlies. Centipedes. Moths. There he is. Make that much noise, hun. And we're sure to find you. Ah, oh, crap. 24 hours later. Dire straits indeed, darling. Your opponents are perfectly prepared. Eating properly balanced attack cuisine for each meal. They can simply sit back and watch as you weaken by the minute. It's a battle that's a good as this as good as one. Give up already, darling. Yo I actually am really rocking with this chapter. Like, okay, I'm just gonna stop here and like break this down for a moment. Dude, this is essentially seeing like Sanji's Rayleigh flashback. You know what I mean? Like he, this is Sanji's training arc, really. Give up already, darling. Hunger and lack of sleep are terrible for the skin, you know. Come, I'll spoon you. <laughs> Shut it. I can't afford to give up. I have to win this challenge for myself and the crew. Stubbornness alone wait, won't make miracles, darling. You're already on the ropes physically and mentally. Not only that, you can't even set foot in the kitchen. True, so I'll just have to find another way. A pirate crew's cook has to be useful in more than what well, in more than just the kitchen. Let's do this. Yeah, and he's taking the suit off. Man's looking fairly ripped. We never really see Sanji's arms and shoulders and stuff looking like that. We see his abs and all that sort of stuff, but he's normally suited up. So, seeing Sanji sleeveless is kind of like weird. Time for some but yo. As an Aussie, I approve this. All right, as an Aussie. It's time for some bushcraft cooking. I can rock with this. I, I spent many a day in my youth living on a farm in uh, some areas. Right? Some bush tucker is how it goes, my guy. Momiro fish aquapaza. And Momiro duck tagulata. Um, aquapaza. A dish where white fish is simmered with various ingredients. No broth or boil on is used, allowing for the ingredients to stand on their own. Interesting. From the Italian for the... Well, oh, tagulata. From the Italian for to cut, tagulata are dishes made from thinly sliced cuts of beef or game meat grilled with a few simple seasonings and served with a side of vegetables. Hmm. My, my, what fashionable presentation. I can hardly believe this is an outdoorsy meal. What chick dishes? Where did you get the energy to make this when you were so exhausted, darling? You had to search a forest teeming with creepy crawlies for ingredients, too. Go on and dig in, Nami. It's y <laughs> Yo, go on and dig in, Nami. Is it yummy? Good, good. I'm glad you love it, Robin. Oh, you poor, you poor fool. My word, he's convinced himself that he was serving a meal to lovely ladies and used that thought to summon every last bit of energy from his tired body. This boy is frightening. On more than one level. And here's your portion. Eat every bite, okay? You even made some for me. Are you sure that was wise, darling? Simply eating fish or meat leads to a meal with incomplete nutrition that digests poorly. Impromptu spoon made from a uh, memorial pea pot. Interesting. Wrapped with vines. Worst of all, there's no ref refinement to the flavours. It's just food, not a meal. 
to revitalize the body and soul. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's filthy. I love that. That's filthy, though. Sanji, Sanji giving uh, Ivanka the foodgasm in the uh, in the bush tucker. I like it. What in the world? Beta endorphins, dopamine, anadine, orexin. Deliciousness is washing through my brain like a tidal wave, setting all the happy chemicals in my brain to gushing. How can this? How can it be this delicious? You had no seasonings or utensils, basically nothing. Hmm? What are you talking about? That stuff's all over, huh? After dressing a duck or seabird thoroughly, heat its skin to render the fat. The fat can be used as all-important cooking oil. For the pot, I use the shell of a giant clam. I started by catching a nice, oily whitefish. After filleting it, I set it in the sun to dry for a few hours. Less water means more flavour. Drying also boosts its vitamin D content. Then I toss that s some goose barnacles and some limpets in the clam pot with some seawater and set the shell on fresh heat rocks to cook it all as a, as a stew. The flavour keystone was a Siberian onion. Is there a Siberian in one piece? Questions for later. They're an aromatic, flavourful, wild plant similar to garlic. Easy to work with too. There's no need to skimp. Hmm. The two types of shellfish make for a hearty seafood broth. And the addictive aroma of the garlic perfectly complements the hot, flaky, flaky fish. Now, how about the tagliata? Uh, tagliata? Hmm. The tender meat contrasts wonderfully with the crispy, caramelized skin. What a perfect dish. It wouldn't look amiss out on the table of a haunty cuisine restaurant, but delicious as they are. These dishes have one fatal flaw. They're missing that crucial nutrition for high activity carbohydrates. Without carbohydrates, your energy will dry up in the blink of an eye. Okay? I'll let you try these right out of the pot. Wild yams. A type of mountain yam. They're powerfully flavoured and extremely stickly. They're chock full of not only carbs, but also dietary fibre and minerals. I grated some, I grated some down into a paste and seasoned it with uh, wild nori I found on uh, some beach rocks. Molded into balls and dropped them into duck fat to fry, and you get Memorio wild yam yolk zeppelin. Zeppelin. A standard version is made of a uh, wheat and yeast dough. It's a fragrant filling dish that smells of seaweed. Yeah, <laughs> so chewy. The crunchy exterior and fluffy, savoury interior are too much to take. And the wild saltiness of the wild nori takes my appetite to new heights. As a side note, did you know both wild yams and duck are packed with vitamin, uh, with B vitamins? That plus the allicin. A little sulfide in the Siberian onions help to relieve fatigue. Those two nutrients combined make for the most effective survival dishes. He uses skill and knowledge to bring out exactly what he wanted from his ingredients, all while minimizing and any bitterness or unwanted flavors. Not bad, not bad, darling. Especially when you had next to nothing to work with. Nami, Robin, for the two of you. I promise to keep offering nothing but the most delicious foods, most delicious dishes. Even if we're lost in the middle of... Yeah, <laughs> even if we're lost in the middle of an unexplored wilderness and he's thinking of some, uh, little bit of cleavage up top and down below. <laughs> he's dreaming of caveman army and caveman Robin. I love this. Uh what a primitive smile. Written by Sanji. An excerpt from the Sanji collection of great poems. Alright, I better put on a voice for this. To live with you, I'd gladly become a barbarian. 
Because when you smile, even the wild fields become an elegant tavola and a refined cucina. I am a camarera of romance, a primitive beast, serving both love and deliciousness to your luscious lips. Yeah, <laughs> he's fantasizing about the girls wearing loincloths, looking, looking like true hardy beast pirates, and he's just munging down his food, just like... <laughs> Sanji, I love you, man, but you you got a gut of mine. What powerful imagination. All that nutritious food stimulated the happy chemicals in his brain, fully revitalizing him body and soul. There he is. Is this where you've been camping, Sanji, honey? All at once, ladies. Yo, and he's just speed blitzing past them. Huh? His moves. They're different. Yo, and Ivankov's laughing, just like, this is very interesting. And so all the uh, all the ladies are chasing after him, and every time he's cooking, Ivanka's just sitting over him, just like, mmm, interesting. Watching Sanji catch fish, pick up uh, yams, wash his clothes. Yeah, and he's just darting around. Oh my word, I can't believe it. She was a master who even served as queen. Yet he somehow managed to f defeat Lady Sh uh, Caroline? I lose, Sanji. A maiden's first time is precious, but you can have mine. Yo, <laughs> could you not put it that way, please? So this is a vital recipe. Ah, is he distracted now that he has one? Now's our chance. Time to play dress up. Hold it. Whose turn is it to cook tonight? Please, whoever it is, switch with me. Yo! Yo! Look at this! Yo, this whole chapter's been great! You know, and he's searing, I'm assuming that's fish, like some uh, hearty cuts of fish, or it could be some sort of pork. It, it looks like a nice fatty meat. There it is, ladies. The first vital recipe. Restorative type. Sea pork au fowl soup. Ooh. Huh? What a fabulous aroma. So this is Sanji Sweetie's attack cuisine. It wouldn't look like, it wouldn't... <laughs> It wouldn't look even a tiny bit out of place next to the dishes of the Queendom's greatest chefs. Yo, I'm assuming that's Elizabeth trying it as well. So Elizabeth has it. Delicious. The richness and nutrition of the off uh, offal is seeping into our very cells. And the tender meaty goodness of the pork is wonderfully filling. You know, isn't a man who can cook the sexiest thing? You can feel how caring he is. Well, is it good? There's plenty, so eat up. Yeah, Elizabeth, Elizabeth has fallen for Sanji. Ba-boom. No fair. If you flash that boyish smile now, the contrast to your usual mature look will make my little heart go pittery patter. I feel like I'm falling. Falling into true love. With Sanji. Yeah. Pure heart contrast. Oh, I hate him, I hate him. But his smile is so savoury, I can't help but await him. <laughs> but please, with that soup, stomp down on the pedal of love. Huh? I can't take it. I'm his biggest fan now. Sarji, pour another bowl for me. Hurry, hurry. Pop down. Now line up like you've got some manners. <laughs> They're supposed to be on the opposite sides. But here he is. P uh, putting the joy of serving food ahead of the challenge. He truly is a cooking addict. You have that right, darling. His ability to adapt and make me forget I was in the wilderness was impressive enough. But now, he took a recipe that our chefs need years of training to practice and master, and replicated it in a single glance at the recipe. He may just look like a boy with swirling eyebrows, but via his voyages as a ship's cook, He's amassed an incredible wealth of experience. Hmm, I can't... I can feel it coming back to me. My vitality. Oh, did you know that when a boy makes a home-cooked meal for a maiden, it means he wants to get to know her better? As in, that way? Yo... <laughs> oh, how can I forget her name? This chick down the bottom left with Elizabeth reminds me way too much of a uh, Bisky or Biscuit from um, Hunter x Hunter. Really? Why didn't you say so sooner, you silly goose? Too shy? If you are, then just put this on and join us. Huh? I told you I'm not wearing that. 
You better have high hopes for him, Straw Hat Boy. I guarantee you our I guarantee your precious crewmate will bring home all 99 vital recipes. Chapter 4 and yo. That's a fucking great chapter. Like I know it's played off for laughs and that and it's a food wars chapter, but that is a great chapter, man. And I love seeing Sanji actually like winning over Ivankov and Ivankov like, Avonkov's not training him, but he's training him. Like, he's setting him up with multiple challenges, and he's still watching over him. Like, Avonkov's with him every step of the way. So, Avonkov is actually fairly aware of Sanji's capabilities and whatnot. So, it just gives a lot of context to the time skip, and a lot of the context to the sort of non-existent mentorship they had, if that makes sense. Definitely, definitely, definitely uh, a great chapter. Um... Compared to the other Food Wars chapters, I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. This has probably been my favourite one so far. Um, yeah, I'd probably go number 4 is number 1. Number 4 is my favourite. 2 and 3 are sort of tied for me. Um, I love seeing uh, Sanji use the water. Um, number 1, although it was a great chapter to begin with, um, just not as good as the other other three so far. But yeah, that is what it is. Um, let me know what your thoughts were of the uh, Food Wars Sogeku, uh, Shou, Shoku Geki no Sanji, Chapter 4. There we go, big boy words. Uh, let me know what your thoughts were of the chapter in the comment section down below. Um, what was your favourite part of the chapter? Um, all that good stuff. And if you haven't done so already, you know what to do. You know it's really appreciated. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for more notifications content like this it helps me out tremendously and um yeah this is a great chapter learned a fair bit about sanji's uh, time in the time skip and um it was interesting it was definitely interesting so yeah it was good uh until the next video or until the next chapter of food wars or whenever you see me all right um peace have a damn good day nothing but love nothing but respect you know what we do what we don't have a good one Bye bye